All right, guys, this is my son's toolbox right here. He's going to do a little toolbox tour of his toolbox. Mm -hmm. There you go, Paxton. Okay. Make sure you hold the camera straight. So, we have a Stanley made in Canada. Better than made in China, that's for sure. Okay, so we got Flowmaster stickers and stuff like that. And uh, this first drawer has a Black & Decker drill uh set basically uh and here's some uh well they're just random things yeah, allen, key. allen keys so uh here's a sponge we got spongebob in the house and then we got a uh, little sanding thing that i use they like knock off stuff like that there's a husky uh scraper, thing. scraper. and then thing <laughs> it's so hard to do this High spec thing. I forgot. Test light. Test light. Uh, punches. So punches and stuff. I have a snap on punch in there. High quality. So. So uh, we have a drill. Drill from oh. skill and just like bits and things and stuff like that and next we have like just steering wheel puller I forgot what this is uh this is a carburetor rebuild uh set of tools and then we have a battery terminal cleaner that I think is made in USA I don't know probably uh just like some zip ties, random stuff like uh air gun nozzle that's broken. Actually I should probably get a new one of those, but doesn't really matter. Okay, here's my plow pliers. Uh I have some orange pliers. Uh don't know where they came from. Don't know what company yet. Because I got them for free. So and uh these are vice grips. They work great. And we have cobalt, high spec, more high specs. Uh, mostly there's cobalt, just some off-brand companies. High spec is probably not off-brand company. Okay, here's where we come to sockets. We have a set of icons, craftsman, high spec, I think that's a high spec extension. We got the wobble head thing. That's from high spec. Just sets of sockets from uh Craftsman, right? Right, Craftsman. Uh just high spec cobalt. Just things like that. And we have Tell them what size these are. This is quarter. Quarter to seven eighths. And then we have a uh uh, tire iron. Tire wrench and extension. A set of small sockets. Quarter inch. Usual quarter inch. And then we come to one of my most proudest drawers. We have right. These right wrenches are amazing. Like they have the curve. Like, okay. This is a 14 millimeter. I have some icons here, and these icon copy snap-on. This has a curve. This feels better, but this is a normal size wrench. And this is the icon. Here's the right. Here's the icon. And this one is longer and all, but it does not feel better. And this is the right. And then you have some craftsman uh, ratcheting wrenches. Ratcheting wrenches and stuff like that. I like to have these icon things around to clean my stuff. So that's basically why I have these. So Do you tell them it's your metric? This is my metric wrench drawer. And then I have uh this adjustable. Adjustable wrenches and is this your standard drawer? This is my standard drawer, more rights, huskies. Huskies, not really that good, but do what? Get a wrench. 
gear wrench, uh, Allen's. Allen sockets. They work good. Well, I've never tested them. I got them for free. Uh, here's a cobalt uh, holder. It works really good. We have wrench holders. Here's gear wrench, gear wrench, craftsman. This is just craftsman and gear wrench. Matching uh, wrenches. Matching wrenches. So, okay, so here we have another most proud of one of my proudest drawers and why uh it has all my ratchets all my metric stuff so this is a half inch drive this is a half inch icon set of deep well deep well sockets the half inch it starts from 12 and goes to 24 so and then I have three eighths. Eight to nineteen. They're basically just like snap-ons. These are from like Harbor Freight. You can get them. Harbor Freight came out with them. So, and then we come. Ah, uh, you know what? I say that for last. These are high specs right here. More high specs. And then I have nine and ten. So. And Craftsman. And Craftsman. And then we have some markers, Milwaukee, Sharpie, 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 and a pen. I, I like this. And then I have impact sockets, 3 8 to half inch, and then... No, they're 3 8 No, this. Oh. And these are 3 8 It starts from... 8? No. Is it 7? Oh, it starts from 7 to go to 19. And here's a closer look. They're icons. Nothing really special. They <laughs> came from Harbor Freight. Pretty cheap. They're basically snap-ons, but... No, they're not basically snap-ons. Well, th they copy snap-on, okay. okay? So, here is a cheapy... Bit driver kit. Bit driver kit and stuff like that. Some sockets and stuff. I I use it a lot, but I don't use it a lot more than I used to. So, and then I have this. This is a Craftsman Race Panel Three Eight uh, Ratchet. It works good. It's Man USA. Mm -hmm. So, and. It's it's a really good ratchet. This I found at my playa buried. Uh, you see that is stuck there, and that says Craftsman Main USA. So the ball doesn't work. You can still use it, just like for chain plugs and stuff. Like it works good. Here is the ratchet I grab the most. Round ratchets. Round ratchets actually work really good. And that's that's just like a random company off brand. Main USA, another one, raised panel. Uh it's a flex head. So it's quarter inch drive. Quarter inch. Oh. Uh, so and then I have a Bonnie ratchet. These things work really good. Uh Probably shouldn't get this exact one. Main USA. Uh, the modeling number is 4093. If you want to get one. Uh, and here's how you switch it around. See. Could be a decoration. They come pretty cheap. So. Actually. Let me just. So I can see. See beautifulness so and then this ratchet is not mine i have been borrowing it from my dad from my dad which i haven't even used it yet i just keep it in my toolbox because he doesn't want it wanting wanting it sitting in his truck so here is a which that's my usa and stuff 
This is another high spec. High specs. I got this for the birthday present with all my other high specs. These things work work good. They're really nice. Maybe you should get one. Just just saying. If you want like something if you're just like starting off for a mechanic then that's great. And then we have half inch to three eighths. So and then I have this. So I do use this a lot and then a set of quarter inch stuff, high specs, craftsmen, all craftsmen. I don't know exactly where high specs are made. I think they're made in China or the USA or somewhere. No, maybe I think they're made in Taiwan or China. Okay. And then we have okay, we have covered all the three eighths stuff. So in one half inch and here is a Proto. Proto made in USA. It has been used so much that uh the square th thing is about to twist off. So it has a lifetime warranty, so that's something good. And my proudest thing of them all. He might be saying, uh, this is a snap-on, made in USA. All snap-ons are made in USA. How many teeth does this have? So, 80. It has 80 teeth. It's 24 inches long. 24 inches long. Uh, modeling number is 64056. Two one. No. No. No no no. It's a S L X eighty A. And this It's a lock and flex head. And it is a two thousand eighteen. So can get a brand new one. If you really want to, they're pretty expensive. Uh this is the biggest snap on ratchet that they make. No, no, it's the biggest one in half inch. Okay, it's the biggest one in half inch. Wait, what's their biggest ratchet then? Probably one inch. Oh, oh I forgot about one inch. So, we have that, and then... That's that's all in the shore. That was all millimeters and this and this stuff. Here is a mess of screwdrivers. So, my favorite screwdriver is this, which the claw screwdriver works really good. If you want to pick one up, they're made in USA. And the modeling number is 49047. And it says no at the beginning. Number. That's number. What it, that's what it stands for. So, uh. I just have like cobalt, just off brand companies mostly in here. But most of them are cobalt, Stanley, stuff like that. So, that's about it. In here. Okay. This drawer is. Okay. I do own a Scrambler 400. So. If you looked at uh, Dad's uh, toolbox tour of his toolbox, you will see there was a polar for my Scramble 400. So, that's, I have this for a reason. So, and this is a Craftsman made from Sears. It's a Sawzall, corded. And he's a Dewalt. Uh, Black and Decker, Black and Decker, the Firestones. Firestorm. Wait, what? Firestorm. Firestorm. And here's a Craftsman Hammer, Stanley, and uh, there's a Rubber Hammer, a Sledgehammer right there. And they work all good. Uh, and here's a light. Don't know what company that is. 
And then I have like a little toy light. Uh, I just leave down here because it works good for a light. And so, screen with 400. And you guys might think this is my last thing of this tool. We have the whole entire top. And the first thing I'm going to start off with is my favorite thing. Starting fluid. This is my baby right here. <laughs> so, I use this a lot. I got a Suzuki with no carburetor running with starting fluid. It wasn't this stuff. It was hot, hot starting fluid for uh, gas and diesels. So, this stuff I use a lot. Uh, it works good. Uh, we used it today on a 90 uh, Predator, or what was it? I think it's a 2002 Predator. Uh, 90. Polaris 90. And then we have just oil filter just for decoration. Which that just fell out of my tape measure. Uh, <laughs> so, this is a Craftsman 25 feet long so I have a craftsman light so it works good so I, I, you know what I should probably put that up here uh, and a grease gun magnet uh, two of these husky levels which my toolbox is never been level for matter of fact it has never been level uh, here's a Stanley tape measure so another Stanley tape tape measure I have lots of tiny tape measures uh, I just keep them around in my pocket or whatever and then I have a 16 feet Stanley tape measure and a uh, DeWalt battery charger, just another, well, I think this, this is the same one that goes in that door, and uh, a oil can that used to use back in the day, a Briggs and Stratton, uh, what are these called? Crankshaft. Crankshaft. If anybody wants to pick it up, give me $10. <laughs> uh, or it, it's. It's pretty good. I have all the parts for it and stuff, like a piston. Okay, but I do have a block. And this, this is for decoration. It's supposed to be like this. And here's a Firestorm battery charger. And uh, some gloves, pipe. Uh, WD-40. I'm almost out. So, if you want to trade me a can of WD-40 for this, I would be grateful or a PB blaster. Those are two things. And here is another thing for it. The motor. And... What? Finish it up. Okay. And here's some glasses. Napa. Napa. And uh, that's, that's about it up here. But that's just for this toolbox. We got a tiny little toolbox over here it is i don't know what company has stickers all over it looks good so i put this sticker on it i put lots of stickers and things uh, most of my toolboxes have stickers on them okay first we have like stickers up here flow masters I always have to have a flow master on every single toolbox we got some Craftsman raised panels, made in USA, stuff like that, and random branches that are like, I don't know how old, uh, just wrenches, millimeter, just all different types of wrenches. Standard. Standard. So, after that, we come down here to... Allen keys. Allen keys. These are just random stuff. I just throw Allen keys a lot of places because I never really use Allen keys. Allen keys are something that I don't really use. Here's a cobalt uh, 
flathead screwdriver. And these things, I use this like for carburetors and stuff. Dad has his own like snap on one. I need snap on. <laughs> so, then we have like some Pittsburgh Pro picks. And Just Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's. I don't know why they just don't have Pittsburgh pros, but they just have Pittsburgh pros or Pittsburghs. Just keep one name. Oh, and uh, here's a piece to that Briggs and Stratton crankshaft and pieces to the motor and like, stuff like this. Hit me up and uh, trade me a can of PB Blaster and WD-40 for everything. <laughs> so. Some Craftsman sockets. This is a Ben USA snap on. So, works good. One thing. I tried to keep everything organized in here. I just have a pair of pliers because this toolbox I roll around and stuff. So, here is lots more race panels, huskies. More huskies, tiny wrenches like that and stuff. Like, uh, oh, and this I just put in there for a reason because I I have this uh, toolbox, but I have some sockets and why not have a ratchet? So there, and in here we have another ratchet. This is three eighths to go to those sockets. It is made in China. Pittsburgh, uh, I forgot what the company it was. I have lots of those wrenches, and this is weird. And that is, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's a die holder. Die holder, and then a chain, just polar, stuff like that. Just uh, that. File. File. And then comes down... So that quarter inch ratchet, I threw a set of random quarter inch stuff in here. And then I have this, a torch. Why you might be asking me why I have a torch? Uh, I don't have a thing for it, so I don't use it. So I just have that in there. So I have this, this, just random things. This. If anybody knows what this is, say it in the comments. Because this, I don't know what it is. So. And this. Say what this is in the comments. This is, I don't even know what this is. Just say it in the comments. And you guys might be asking me why I have green shag carpet in here. Uh, well, I got this toolbox for free, so, which, there is one more toolbox that will be actually really short. And I keep this toolbox on a, like, yule thing with a vise and yule another yellow toolbox has nothing in it and over here we have a sledgehammer and here is the block and here is a ford bronco i always got to have those fords and here is my jack from mac yes you might be asking me is it like a mac uh tools no it came off of a mac truck and i guess I got it for free, so. And right here is the Scrambler 400. It uh, has no plastic because Dad didn't want to record us taking off the plastic and taking off all the uh, things, so. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be pretty hard to get down here. So, okay. Here is a job. Uh, Smart. Smart. Have the keys and stuff. Uh pump thing and stuff like that there's there's like nothing in here just stuff uh a pencil a a little pencil in that and stuff uh, this has a candle and don't ask me 
why I have this. Like, I don't know why. Uh, I just found it uh, in uh, one of my things. Oh, here it is, Dad. Okay, this goes to the high spec. Test light. Test light. And I need to put this in the other toolbox. Uh, just like wire this and a pencil. Gotta have pencils in. This is a random drawer. Most things I don't know what they are. Uh, one little Allen key. <laughs> just alone. Uh, and lots of things like punches. Punches and stuff like that. And this. Stickers. Stuff like that. So, oh yeah, this. These are Craftsman race panels. More. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Uh, Promark. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. And all the rest are Craftsman race panels. Okay, down here we have another polar, basically a ginormous punch. Uh, I think this is, I think somebody used this to put pistons in, which whoever did uh, must have messed it up. Just kidding. I don't know what this is. Comment down below in the comments. Oh, and this, comment down in the below, below, the, in the comments what this is. Don't know what it is. This came off with my Suzuki motorcycle. How about Suzuki? Uh, lots of just stickers, stickers. Uh, actually, I have a engine thing, whatever it's called. I forget. Engine mount. So stuff like that, and just another one, and just random stuff. Uh, not most of it. I don't know what this. What it is. This came off of a pressure washer. Pressure washer. And that is it. Just want to show them a couple things and show you guys a couple things. This is a 1999 Scrambler 400. This I got for free. It was uh, my grandpa Crotos. And there was plastic on it, but Dad didn't want to do a video about us taking it apart. So, uh, the plastic, the fender, these, this expansion mostly came up. And whenever you hit a jump, it would come up and hit the fender. So, there's holes in the fender. Uh, and just like, it's, it's a Scramble 400. You can research these, which this... Uh, had a what is it called? Uh, uh, that was on the back. A rack. A rack on it. Uh, this the sole on it, and uh, there used to be a tool bag, which there is a whole thing and a cobalt thing that has lots of parts in it, and it has ITP tires, and the rims have been smashed in and out. I tried to get the rims to an acceptable thing so in the back brakes I got working so uh there is no light because my dad uh hit it into a house and uh, our friend was doing donuts um he accidentally switched it in four wheel drive so it is only three wheel drive now so three wheel yeah, uh, it's better than having two wheel drive. Uh, so, all right. The great thing about Scrambler 400s and Scramblers is they were basically off roading four wheelers and sport four wheelers. So, this has been a great fit four wheeler uh, and dash. Needs a new starter. Uh, needs a new wiring harness. Needs a new light. And uh, we used to bring a air compressor with us. With uh, my dad used to go off roading with his dad, and they would bring a air compressor, which I still have, and plug it in here. 
can air up the tires if they need to, uh, and stuff like that. So. All right. Well. Well, that is the end, and we will probably be back soon. But Dad waited so long to make these videos for some unknown reason. <laughs> All right. So. Bye. Bye.